It works. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time and if it's your first time Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button today? I am standing in the middle of my living room and for the project we're going to be doing today We're actually going to be creating an eight-foot photo ledge for my wall over here as you can tell, it's very plain. We've been in this house for quite some time and I don't know, I just haven't gotten around to fully decorating. So I have this really cool idea to create a photo ledge and I'm also gonna be putting all of my DIY decor from the last video onto it. So stay tuned for the end of the video so you can see how we go ahead and decorate. And I think we're gonna go ahead and get started with the wood in the garage, so I'll bring you guys with me. All right, to get started in terms of materials, what you'll need are two planks that are one by sixes and eight feet long, and then one smaller wooden plank, which is a one by two, also eight feet long. And for the side pieces, we have two smaller one by twos, which we cut down to six inches to kind of serve on the side. And to put these together, uh, we're gonna need a, an old rag to wipe away some excess wood glue, wood glue, trim screws, a drill, and then we have a couple of bar clamps. And to give you guys just a quick visual of what we're actually looking for with the photo ledge, this is how it'll look. All said and done. All right, so we flipped one of the planks just vertically. The very first step that we're gonna do is put the wood glue all along the edge, and then we're gonna attach that one by two on top of it, and then you'll see us clamp it at the end. So kind of just hold it in place before we screw it together. All right, so you'll take your one by two. You're just gonna try and get it flush to the bottom piece. Okay, so we're clamped on both sides. This is just to make our lives much easier when we go to actually put in the screws. But before we do, we just put a small drill bit on there. Uh, we were doing some research on some other shelves that a few other people built, and one of the tips that they gave us was to use a drill bit so that you avoid breaking up the wood. So we're just gonna do that. All right, we have our front ledge on, and I'm obviously a professional with the drill. Here's kind of what we're working with. If I just set this down. All right, so I'm liking how this is coming out so far. We're essentially gonna repeat the same exact thing with the back piece. This is actually gonna be flush to our wall and what we're gonna screw through to mount this on the wall and the studs. So what we'll do is, same thing, we'll put glue, and then we'll go ahead and add in the trim screws. So we mismeasured the side pieces. Again, you don't necessarily need them, so we're just literally gonna throw these out. Our next step is gonna be to come back with the wood filler. So we're gonna go ahead and clear the station and show you guys how to do that next. All right, so we have our entire photo ledge pieced together with the wood glue and the screws. To hide the screws on the front end, I just picked up some wood filler, so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and we're gonna kind of push it in there to give it a flush finish on the front. been about two hours. Dinner's definitely in the oven. I'm dying so hungry. But we're going to go ahead and do some spot sanding. So the spots where we put the wood filler, we just want to smooth out so that when we stain it, it's not something that sticks out. 
And then I just have a couple pieces um, or a couple spots where the glue's kind of spilled out, so we want to sand that piece down too. So we're going to do some spot sanding, prep it for staining. I just picked up that old rag that we had from earlier. I would recommend kind of just wiping the dust from sanding off before you stain. All right, you're back, and I definitely need help staining, so Annie's joined us. I picked up this um, wood stain from Home Depot. The name of it is Provincial or Provincial, but this is gonna be the color we're staining it today. Um, so again, you just wanna take your old rag. We're gonna put on a decent amount, let it sit for a second, and then we're gonna wipe it off. Wow, you guys, I'm a little bit in awe of this color. I knew in the store that it was something that I wanted to go with, but I'm obsessed with how this is coming out. Per the label, since it is an oil-based stain, um, the label does say to give it anywhere between eight and 24 hours to fully dry. I'm tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. We're gonna pick this back up tomorrow. We'll show you guys how we mount it on the wall and how we decorate it. I'm so stoked to see how this comes out. Okay, you guys, so it's tomorrow. It's been about 24 hours that we've let this completely dry down and I'm in love with the way that the stain came out. So I'm gonna flip it over. And this is how our photo ledge looks. We're gonna go ahead and bring this inside and um, show you guys how we will mount it and then decorate it. All right, so we're back in the living room. This is where we're gonna be mounting the photo ledge that we just created. Now, our wall is about 13 and a half feet long. Of course, everyone's wall is gonna be different. We've already done the calculations and measurements to figure out where we need to put it to make sure it's center. Um, to do that, we used a measuring tape. And then we've also already marked off where all of the studs are in the wall. And we used just a stud finder and a pencil to go ahead and mark that. Next step is gonna be kind of aligning it on the marks that we've made on the wall and leveling it and drill it into the wall. First, make sure your stuff on forks. It works. So we're completely mounted and now it's perfect timing for decorating. I'm gonna go grab all of my decor and come right back and I will show you guys how I style it. All right, I have all my decor laid out in front of me and I know you guys remember these from the last video. So I know I mentioned in there that I have the perfect spot for them and this is totally what I was talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump right in. Go over there. You guys, honestly, 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 tell me what you think in the comment section below because I, I don't know. I just, I, I had the vision in my head. I knew what I was going for and I feel like this has just exceeded every single expectation that I could have done. I had so much fun working with Danny to make the photo ledge and then even more fun decorating. Like this is where I feel like I really, really thrive. Um, so much more to come. Let me know in the comment section how you think this turned out, if this is something that you guys would try to pursue on your end, and if you have any questions on where I get all of my home decor, please feel free to put that in there as well. As always, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next video.